But what really makes the DTX Pro module very, very different from everything else on the market are these three knobs, the kit modify knobs. The kit modify knobs allow me to change the kit ambience, the kit compression, and the kit effect in real time, very quickly, as I'm playing if necessary. And they can dramatically change the sound of the kit. Most users who play the DTX Pro module will probably only use the kit modifiers and change the sounds. There's that much variation you can get from just using the kit modifiers. The ambience modifier works by adding in the room sound which was sampled when these drum sounds and cymbal sounds were recorded. Just by turning up the ambience control, I can put back natural ambience back into the overall sound of the kit. Normally when we sample a kit or record a kit, we reduce everything to a stereo file, so a left and a right. But in this case, the room sound was also sampled, so we have a left and a right ambience sound as well. When you hit any pad on this kit, you're actually triggering four audio channels, left and right direct and left and right ambience. And you can control this with the ambience modifier. From 0 to 50% is the natural ambience recorded at the time, and from 50 to 100% is digital reverb, which is added in on top. The compression modifier works by adding compression to the whole kit. This is in addition to the individual channel compression, which we can put onto any single pad. A little bit of compression helps it glue the sound of the kit together. More compression adds more character and can add more smack or attack to the sound and sounds more aggressive. Compression is a dynamic effect, so how it sounds depends on how loud the sound is in the first place. This is a very basic explanation, but what compression does is it brings down the peaks of the louder sounds. You can adjust how much and what level it starts working at by adjusting the threshold of the compression. However, if that's all it did, it would just make the sound more dense sounding, but quieter. So compression can also be set to bring the louder peaks back up to their original level. This, in effect, makes the quieter notes louder. It evens out the whole dynamic range. There is less difference between the quieter and the louder sounds. The effect modifier works by controlling how much you hear of the two effects processors and the master effect. Each pad can send different amounts of signal to any processor, meaning each pad can have a completely different effect if required. Again, this is in addition to the individual channel effects. The effects modifier is the most powerful single knob on the whole module. Here you can see the complete signal path from the drum sounds and all the effects, including the kit modifiers. I have circled each area so you can see exactly what the knob controls. The effect modifier controls how much signal goes to and from the two effect processors, depending on how you have set it. You can also adjust how much of the effects go to the ambience or just go dry straight to the master effects. To give you an idea how powerful the kit modifiers are, I'm going to give you an example of a real world situation. Here we have a kit which I've called Power Ballad. I'm going to turn off all the modifiers. So we just have the, the, the sound completely natural with no effects on it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play that kit along to a track. If I press the recorder button, find the track I want and press play, I'll play along to it so you can hear what that drum sounds like with this track. As you can hear, it's sort of okay, but it's nothing special. It doesn't sound particularly exciting, it sounds a bit covered by the music, and it doesn't really leap out and sound exciting enough. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add on some ambience, some compression, and a little bit of effect, which is 
in this case, it's some presents. Now, if I play the same kit to the same track, but with the kit modifiers added in, you'll hopefully hear a big difference. So now the drums leap out a lot more, they sound much bigger, they sound much fuller, they sound much more exciting. And I've just done that just by changing the kit modifiers, nothing else at all. It's also very easy to edit the effects. So what I can do is I can adjust the individual effects on the master effects processor and the two built-in effects processors. So if I go back to the black vinyl kit, if I press F3, the last button underneath the screen, which says Mix FX. The first time I press it, you'll see a mixer, which is a global mixer. So if I change the volume here, it will affect all the kits. But this is great for live use because it means I can individually adjust all the separate sounds, but make it global so all the bass drums are quieter or all the snare drums are louder. It's very, very useful. But the second time I press the button, I can see the master effect, which in this case is presence. The next press will show me effects processor one, which is an early reflection. The next one is the tempo delay on effects processor two. But I can just scroll around these and I can adjust these as I want to. So let's change the early reflection for a different sort of early reflection reverb or maybe um, some gated reverb. I can do it very, very easily. And then I can adjust how much of each individual sound is sent to that by moving down to where it says instrument send and choosing a pad. I've got the snare drum up at the moment. So if I just turn this up, I can send more snare just to the gated reverb. Because I have two effects processors, I can send different pads, different instruments to different processors. So at the moment, this kit has no effects on it at all. But what I can do by turning up the effects modifier, I can send just the snare drum to a delay effect. The rest of the drums aren't affected, it's just the snare drum. But I can also use that same effect modifier to add an effect onto the floor tom as well. Many of the presets have the internal effects on them. So you have easy access to kits like this. And this. but we can also use the effects for really drum oriented purposes. So let me show you what I mean. 
Normally, when we play a gated reverb sound on an electronic kit, we are playing a sound that's already got the gated reverb on it. But with this kit, I can take any of the internal drum sounds and I can put my own real gated reverb onto it. So what, this is what I'm going to do on this particular kit. I've already shortened the sounds so they don't get in the way of the gated reverb. So at the moment, it sounds like this. But if I turn up the ambience modifier, I can add my own real gated reverb. or I could add filtering to the sound of the whole kit. Or I could add two different sorts of delay and a gated reverb onto a nothing particularly special drum kit, which sounds like this. But now if I add on ambience, compression and a bit of effect, I can make it sound like this. 